Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, I just want to quickly say sorry about last week that I didn't post a video. Um, I was just studying for exams. The exam was meant to be this morning, but unfortunately it was rescheduled. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get on with recording this week's video. Um, today we'll be stuffing $455, I'm pretty sure. Um, and yeah, I've got my hot chocolate here. Let's have a quick sip. Um, and first things first, we're just going to grab the money that we are stuffing this week. I, I went through my binders as well last night and basically just substituted the money out that I had um, and did like a bill exchange. I didn't film it. I was It was just the middle of the night. I just felt like going through it. Um, so this is just all these small notes, so that's why it's not exactly the right ones. Like I don't have a $50 note to use. Um, but anyway, first things first, we are just going to go through our rollover. I've just pulled them out at the moment. So we're going to go groceries and fuel. Um, I'll be leaving groceries in there, but fuel I'll take it out. And we'll put that into our savings. But groceries, we didn't go to the shops during the week because I was studying, um, but I might as well just keep building it up as groceries are expensive. But yeah, so I'll just pop that to the side. I'll just leave it at the back here. And we'll just get to stuffing our envelopes. So we're putting $50 in groceries. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50. And we'll just add it behind there. So that means we have $100 to spend this week or save for next week. For fuel, we're putting 50 in there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, nothing's going in toiletries. Nothing will go in self-care. Nothing in eating out. I will be putting $10 in coffee. That's because I'm taking my best friend to a cafe on Monday and we're going to get some coffee and study together. So we'll prepare for that. So that is those envelopes. Moving on to sinking funds. I just want to quickly remind you guys, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also like this video. That really helps out my channel. I've noticed how fast you guys are subscribing as well. We Literally only just hit 500 subscribers. I did a giveaway, sent out the gift, and already we're so close to 600. And it's crazy to me that you guys keep watching. I love it. Anyway, another sip. In utilities, we're putting 35. 20, 30, and a 5. I have an electricity bill coming out. And I think it's only $110. Not too bad. So we'll just count that up. We've got 50, 150, 250, 270, 280, 290, 310, 20, 320, which is way more than we need. Car maintenance is empty and that's because I paid for my insurance. So we're starting from scratch again, but that's what these envelopes are for. We are putting 35 in this one as well. 10, 20, 35. And I won't have to pay that insurance until next year, but I will have rego some other time. And service as well, so we'll see. Internet is getting $10. I'm pretty sure we paid the bill. 40, there's $50 there, so I'll have to take some of that back to the bank. Subscriptions is getting $5. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm also pretty sure we've paid bills for these, but apparently not, so I thought they'd come out monthly, but I could be wrong. Health is getting $5. I just remember like a month ago or two months ago, my wisdom teeth were driving me insane, and I was sure that my teeth were going to be coming out within the next couple of weeks. I can't even tell that they're there anymore, so that's great news. So we have 51, 52, 50, 300, 50, 450, 455, 460. University loans is also going to be getting $5. 
So you have 51, 52, 50, 300, 5, 10, 15. 315. House deposit is getting $5 as well. We're so close to have paying for everything for the wedding. So as soon as that's done, we can just start knuckling into this envelope and putting everything we possibly can into this. So we have 1,000, 2,000, 50, 150, 170, 190, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230. 1,230. Amazing. Vacation, which is for the honeymoon is getting ten dollars so yeah 51 52 50 300 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 80 500 20 40 50 60 amazing anyway how is everybody comment below what the weather is like today i want to know today it's 20 degrees um but i'm still in a sweater because it's a little bit chilly like there's not much humidity so it was a cold morning uh, candles is getting five dollars 20 45 yeah let me know what's the weather like where you are today moving on to the shopping binder Clothing is getting five dollars. So you have fifty, sixty five. Beauty is receiving ten dollars. Ten, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty five. Date night is getting five. You're about to notice that some of these are empty because I did some shopping. <laughs> So Amazon is receiving $5 as well. Kmart is getting $5. The home envelope is getting $5 as well. We have 20, 25, 30. Miscellaneous, we'll pop a $5 in there. Gifts, we're gonna put 20. That's just because I have my brother's and sister's birthday coming up. So we grab two tens. So you got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars. Christmas is getting 25. We're getting so close to the best season of all. I'm s I am biased. I love Christmas. I love the decorations. I love the music, the food, how everyone is just so much happier at that time of year. So we have 50, 150, 170, 190. Um, my brain is frying. Sorry, 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 520, 30, 45, 545. That's probably already more than enough, but better to be safe than sorry. Going into the wedding binder, you will notice that there's a few changes. So, at the back is some empty envelopes because photography is paid for, rings paid for, decor is paid for, stationery is paid for. So we've fully stuffed those and paid for those. So now all we have left is food, drinks, venue and the emergency fund. Um, basically, any leftover money from the envelopes, like the photography or the rings and all that sort of stuff that I stuffed over from what we actually paid, I put the extra into these just so they had a little bit of more of a boost as well. So going into food and drinks, we'll be putting $10 in this week. And we have 51, 52, 53, 50, 400, 50, 500, 20, 40, 55. 55 onto the wedding venue we're putting ten dollars as well there's the end lots of 20s there what the heck um so we've got 
100, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510. 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 770, 790, 810, gosh, um, 830, 850, 870, 890, 910, 930, 950, 970, 990, 1000. Goodness me, we have $1,000 for the wedding venue on the dot. That's amazing. I can probably grab the $1,000 note out of the other binder in a minute. Emergency fund is getting 20. So grab two tens. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 310, 20, 35, 235. Perfect. Perfect. So that's it for the wedding binder. It's a really good feeling as you slowly just like start emptying out the envelopes and paying those fees. Um... Moving on to the emergency binder. This beautiful purple one. So I have a thousand dollar note here and I'll pop that into the wedding binder soon. Cash emergency will be receiving ten dollars. So we've got twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty dollars in here. Rent emergency is getting ten dollars. So you have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred, ten, twenty, two hundred and twenty. Insurance emergency is getting ten dollars. So you have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred and ten. Family emergency getting $10. So you have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then pocket money for the younger sister is getting $10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, $50. Right there. And then onto the savings challenges. Oh, as, before I forget, I did have some coins from my rollover earlier. So I got my coin jar here. We haven't stuffed this in a couple weeks because I have just haven't been using my actual cash. But these are my coins. I think that was $4.85. Just straight and top. Perfect. I just realized I put the wrong lid on that. I don't even know where that lid came from, but that's okay. Um, all right, so the savings challenges. We're not stuffing Tesla with a bike yet. Weather challenge. Today was 19 degrees. I rounded it up to 20. So it's going to put $20 in there. I saw, I got this challenge idea of somebody else. Um, I think it was either Caro Cash or somebody else. I just can't remember. If I do remember, I'm going to link it below. Um, it was another Aussie cash stuffer and I just, they had like a whole binder full of challenges and I really liked that idea and the weather challenge I think they did it like every day or every week or something like that and it was just a really good idea so yeah I didn't come up with the weather challenge I've just borrowed it from someone else and I think it's a great idea so we've got 20 40 60 80 100 10 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 What's great about these envelopes, like your savings challenges, is they're not there to pay a bill. Like once you're stuffed it, once you've finished your challenge, you're just going to put it straight back into your bank and it's there for you to use or to save or whatever you want to do. Whereas my sinking funds, they're all saving up to pay a bill. So I save up so much money and then have to get rid of it. Like it's like a disappointing thing. 
Um, this is my $5 savings challenge. This is getting a bit full. I'm thinking of getting my little safe out, popping it into there and then refilling this again. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna empty that out soon. Um, but yeah, next video this will probably be empty and I'll pop it into like a little safe box. I'm not putting anything in the $5 savings challenge, but the savings we will be putting $20 in. So grab two tens. And this is also where I put my rollover. So you pop that on there too. So we've got 50, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 340, 350, 360, 370, 380. $380. That's exciting. So that is it for stuffing the binders. I do just have my 100 envelope challenge to do. And I'm just doing it in a box at the moment to see if we can fit it in there. But today we are stuffing $16. So I have 10 and a five and a one dollar queen just to pop straight in there. And I'll just grab our savings trackers and we can cross them off together. So the 100 envelope challenge, we did 16 today. The 1000 savings challenge, we put $20. And the Christmas savings challenge, we added 25 in there today. Would you look at that? We did the whole top row on this one. So that is all the savings trackers all done. I'm just going to pop my $1,000 bill into that wedding one. We'll do that together. So it was for the venue. That was $1,000 on the dot. I'll just put that straight there. Easy to count for next time. And I'll take this one back to the bank just so it's safe at home. Um, and yeah, and before I do that, I may even do some substitutions to switch up the smaller bills for the big bills. All right, that is it for today's video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's see how fast we can get to 1,000 subscribers. And then we'll think about doing a larger giveaway as well. So stay tuned for that and we'll see how quickly we get there. Hopefully before Christmas. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for my next cash stuffing. See you later, guys. Bye.